we come to the third subcategory of the role of a Muslim, a non-Muslim society, that is dealing with the non-Muslims. And that third subcategory is dawah. What is the meaning of the Arabic word dawah? Those who come from the Indian subcontinent, they know the meaning of the word dawat. The moment you hear the word dawat, you start thinking of a biryani or a pulao. Dawa ya dawat does not mean biryani or pulao. Dawa means to call, to invite. And an invitation can only be given to an outsider. So dawa specifically means inviting a non-Muslim towards Islam. When you speak about Islam to a Muslim, the more appropriate word is islah, which means to repair, which means to improve. But when we speak about Islam to a non-Muslim, inviting him towards Islam, the more appropriate word is dawah. Though this word dawah is used synonymously both while speaking to Muslim as well as non-Muslim, but specifically dawah means inviting the non-Muslims towards Islam. And this dawah is a fard on every Muslim, especially those Muslims who are living in a non-Muslim society. I started my talk by quoting a verse from the glorious Quran from Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 110, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kuntum khaira ummatan ukhrijat nas. O ye Muslims, ye are the best of people evolved for mankind. Allah is giving us an honor and calling us khaira ummah, the best of people. Whenever there is honor, it is always followed up with a responsibility. There is no honor without responsibility. For example, in a school, the principal has got more honor than a teacher. A teacher has got more honor than a clerk. But simultaneously, the principal has got more responsibility than a teacher. A teacher has got more responsibility than a clerk. There is no honor without responsibility. Allah is giving us an honor in the Quran as calling us the khaira ummah. E Muslims, ye are the best of peoples evolved for mankind. Don't you think we have a responsibility? The reply is given in the same verse. Allah continues and says, Ta'muruna bil ma'rufi wa tanhawna anil munkar wa tu'minuna billah. Because we enjoin what is good and we forbid what is wrong and we believe in Allah. If we do not enjoin what is good, and if we do not forbid what is wrong, we aren't fit to be called as Khaira Ummah. We aren't fit to be called as Muslims. It is compulsory for every Muslim that he invites the non-Muslims. He invites them towards the good and forbids them from doing wrong and believe in Allah. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Muhammad, chapter number 47, verse number 38, that if you do not do your job, if you do not follow the responsibility Allah has given you, Allah says, yes, Allah will substitute in your place another people, summa and they will not be like you. If you do not do your job, if you do not follow the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will substitute in your place another people and they will not be like you. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 143, that we have made you an ummat a a middlemost community, so that you may be a witness over the nations, as the Prophet will be a witness over you.